Okay, I'm recording this intro right after a long and tedious test. Two long hours of creating one identical page on six different teams without using any page builders and almost a 12 hour long process with 10 tests. So I really hope you like and appreciate what I bring to you. I think it is one of the most transparent and comprehensive speed performance tests on WordPress teams. And the reason I'm doing this is to help you find the fastest and most lightweight WordPress team for your online business because if your site is loading slowly, your visitors will leave and that's the fact. And for a WordPress site speed junkie like myself, it's always a pleasure to see sites getting a 90 plus rating on Google PageSpeed Insights and a great A performance on both the Pingdom and GT metrics. So in this video, I think it is going to be very interesting because I don't think anybody has done a speed test like this. We'll first test the blank team in stores. That's very standard, everybody does that. But we'll go the extra mile to build a page like this on each of the teams and I'm gonna build them up right in front of you so you know what's happening on the back end. I want this test to be super transparent. And here's the thing, we are not going to use page builders like Elementor or Beaver Builders to build up those pages because page builders will skew the results. So we are going to build everything through only the WordPress editor and with one common Gutenberg block plugin and that's it. So at the end of this test, I will bring to you raw data that we can assess together and hopefully if you decide to buy any of these teams, you can use the links in the description for the latest discounts. I'm in the flip for all these teams so there is no extra incentive for me to talk up any of the team in particular. And this is not a sponsored video. I bought all the teams with my own money so that we can have a fair and transparent view on which is the fastest WordPress team for your online business. And do stick with me to the end because I'm going to share with you a case study where I helped one of my favorite subscribers to turn her WordPress website from getting a 28 rating on Google PageSpeed Insights all the way to a 90 plus rating using only very simple concepts I practice daily. I take site speed seriously. Anyway, let's first talk about the six teams we are going to test and then we'll talk about the conditions that will make this a fair and objective test. The six teams are Generate Press, Asia WP, Ocean WP, the Neve team by Team Owls, and I've included two new kids on the blog, they are Cadence and Bloxy. You'll be surprised how well these newer teams perform against those matured ones. So before we get started, I hope you can smash that thumbs up button. I really appreciate that. And if you have done so, Thank you so much. So let's get right away to the conditions of the test. So to make this speed test fair, here are the things we will do. We will host all the teams on separate domains instead of having them all in one. Secondly, all the domains will be hosted on the same server. All the blocks and images used on the teams will be the same. We will not use any caching plugins and we will not use any page builders. Plus, I will only install one Gutenberg block plugin to help me build a page so everything is the same. The only difference is the pro versions of the team. So I've put all the six teams in one screen so it's easier for you to see what's happening behind the scenes. So what you're looking at right now is the WordPress dashboard. I've installed a team in each of the domains. So there's only one team installed in each of the domains. Now let me show you the plugins. So as you can see, there is no plugins installed in each of the teams. Now let's check if all the domains are hosted on the same server. To do that, we'll use a website called whoishostingthis.com and then we'll do a search. So as you can see, they are all from different domains. And if you look at their IP address, they are all the same. And the name servers are basically from SiteGround for all of them. So now that we know the test is all on equal grounds, let's do the speed performance test on them. Now I'm not going to show you all the tedious work I did because it would take too long and you'll probably get bored by it. So let me speed things up and I'll explain to you what I did. Anyway, the blank install test is not the main focus here. Blank installers can't tell the whole story. We need to build pages with elements for a more accurate test, which we will be doing in a while. But for now, in this test, we'll be using Google PageSpeed Insights, Pingdom Tools, as well as GT Metrics as our test platforms. And we will conduct a total of three tests on each of those platforms. And we will average out all the results to find which is the fastest team in terms of the blank installs. So as we can see here, I've highlighted the best results in green 
and the worst results in red. And if you look closer, we can see that Ocean WP is getting all the reds. But don't get me wrong, just because I highlighted the reds, it doesn't mean that the team is slow. I'm not implying that. Honestly, Ocean WP is much faster than a lot of WordPress teams out there. Just that matching up to these 5 teams, it is not performing as well. But it is still too early to tell as I've mentioned, blank installs don't tell the whole story. Maybe it will perform better when we test the page with elements? Who knows? But anyway, in terms of Google PageSpeed Insights, the Neef team is showing the best result and it is promising because it is clinching the top spot in other areas as well such as the Pingdom grade and the number of requests. Now, Generate Press is honestly impressive in terms of the blank install. It is winning almost all the categories and it only screwed up the first test for the Google PageSpeed Insights otherwise it was a 100 point rating for test 2 and 3. So between Generate Press and the Neef team, I would say Generate Press is at a top spot for the blank install speed performance test followed by the Neef team at the second spot. Now if we want to rank the rest, I would say Astra WP is at number 3 simply because the load time is a little faster than Bloxy and Cadence and the page size is smaller than the other two. Then at the fourth place, it is going to be Cadence and then Bloxy judging by the same criteria. So that's for the blank installs, I'm eager to see which WordPress teams will perform better when we add elements to it. I promise you the results will be much different than the blank installs. This is based on my years of experience in testing WordPress teams. So without further ado, let's get started with the more comprehensive speed performance test. Now we're gonna do something interesting. We're gonna create a page like this on each of the teams. We have the basic elements of what a common web page will have. And we're gonna use the same elements, the same images and the same fonts to create those pages. And then we will do the test again. But this time round, we're gonna do 10 tests over the course of 12 hours and then we'll record the average. I think this way we can really get the best and the most accurate results. So first things first, let us install the pro version of the Teams. So I've installed all the premium versions of the Teams. And there's one more plugin I need to install to help me build up the page. And that is the Cadence Blocks. So let me install the plugin. So now let me show you what plugins I've installed on each of the teams. On Generate Press, there is only the GP Premium and the Cadence Blocks and that's it. And as for Astra, it's only the Astra Pro and the Cadence Blocks. For Bloxy, it is the Bloxy Companion and the Cadence Blocks. And for the Cadence, it's only the Cadence Blocks and the Cadence Pro. For the Neve team, it's only the Neve Pro add-on as well as the Cadence Blocks. And for Ocean WP, it is the Ocean Extra and the Cadence Blocks. So everything else is the same except for the premium version of the team. So now let us build up the web page from scratch. But let me first show you how each of the website look right now. So now this is how all the teams look like by default. So now let me fast forward the process so you won't be wasting an hour watching me build up the websites. So let's go. So in case you want to learn how I build up this web page from scratch, you can watch the video that is popping up on the right. I've left the link in the description as well. So I've created an identical page on 6 different teams and as you can see, they basically look the same. So our final step of this test is to test all these individual pages on Google PageSpeed Insights, Pingdom Tools and GT Matrix 10 times over the course of 12 hours. So do stick with me to the end because I don't even know what kind of results we are gonna get. So it's Monday 8 February 5am, let's do our first test. So let me record these results. Now let's do the Pingdom test. Now this is a close match, but at one glance, Generate Press is the fastest, followed by Cadence. It's quite surprising that it was ranking at a fourth place for the blank install test, but now it came out second. And on the third place, we have the Neve team. 
But anyway, let me record this info. Now I've shortened the process for all the 10 tests so it's not super long for you and I post this to show you the integrity of the test result but feel free to use the timestamps or chapters in the description to skip ahead. Okay, we're done with the recording, let's go to GT metrics. So we can't really see much difference on GT metrics. The only one that stands out is Generate Press. But anyway, let me just record these results. Okay, we are done with the first result. Let's wait for our next test at 6 a.m. Okay, it's 6 a.m. Singapore time. Let's do our second test. So I did two tests on this because I just want to make sure that the reduced initial server response time isn't the main cause for the poor rating. All the server response time is almost the same so this is a fair test. So let me record this down. Okay it is done, let's go to Pingdom. Now let me record these down. And let's go to GT metrics. Okay, let me record these results. And that concludes our test number 2, let's wait for our test number 3 at 7am. Okay, it's 7am Singapore time, let's do our third test. Let's make sure that the server response time is similar. If it's not, we have to do the test again. I think we have to do the test again, let's do it again. Okay, they are rather similar, it's just a little bit different for these two. But anyway, this is rather a fair test. So let's record these results. Okay, this is done. Let's go to Pingdom. Now let me record the results. Okay, this is done. Let's go to GT metrics and let's start the test again. And let me record the results. And that concludes our third test. Our fourth test will be at 10 a.m. So it's 10 a.m. Singapore time. Let's do our fourth test. Okay, this seemed like a fair test because the reduced initial server response time is almost the same for every one of them. So let me record the results. And let us go to Pingdom. Okay, now let us record this result. And let us do the test on GT metrics. Now let us record the results. So we are done with test number 4. Our next test number 5 is at 11am. Okay, time now is 11am Singapore time. Let's do our test number 5. So this is not a very fair test, let's do the test again. Let me do this test again. And okay, this is rather fair, now let's record the results. Now let's go to Pingdom. Ok, 
Okay, now let's record the results. Now we're done with the Pingdom, let's go to GT Matrix. Let's record these results. And that concludes our test number 5. Our next test number 6 is at 12pm, so let's wait till then. Okay, time now is 12pm Singapore time, and let's do our test number 6. Seems we gotta do the test again. Okay, we gotta do one more test for generate press because as you can see all the other results for this reduced initial server response time is 0.6 seconds but but for generate press it was one second so we need to do it again okay and here we go let's record this result okay that's done let's go to pingdom Okay, let's record the results. And we're done with Pingdom, let's go to GT Metrics. So now let's record the results. And from this point forward, we will add this fully loaded time from GT Matrix. I'm not sure why I forgot about this. So just in case you're wondering why there's a new matrix added in here. This is kind of like the important feature of GT Matrix. I'm not sure why I forgot about this. But luckily I remembered this halfway through this test. So we still have 5 results to go and I think it's still adequate. I hope you don't think less about the results I'm gonna produce in this test. So let us record the results of test 6. So that concludes test number 6, our next test is at 1pm, so I'll see you till then. So it's 1pm Singapore time, let's do our test number 7. Unfortunately, we need to test this again. Let's try to get 0.6 for these 3 results. Okay, so we have a fair test on all of them. Let's record the results. Now let's go to Pingdom. Now let's record the results. Now we are done with this, let's go to GT Metrics. And let's record the results. And that concludes our test number 7. Our next test is at 2pm, so stay tuned. Okay, so now it's 2pm Singapore time, let's do our 8th test. Okay, let's try to make the response time 0.6 seconds. This is more than 0.6 seconds, let's do it again. Okay, it's between 0.5 to 0.6 plus seconds, so the test is quite fair. Let us record the results. Now let's go to Pingdom. Okay, now let's record the test. Now let's go to GT Matrix. And let us record this. And that concludes our test number 8. Let's wait for test number 9 at 3 p.m. Okay, so it's 3 p.m. Singapore time. We're nearing the final test. This is test number 9. Let's do it. I guess we have to do this test again. 
So again, we're trying to make the reduced initial server response time to between 0.5 to below 0.69. So this is 0.73. Let's test this again. This is fine. This is fine as well. Now this is fine. Let's test this again. So these are all fair and equal. Let's record this data. Now let's go to Pingdom. Now let's record the results. So now let's go to GT Matrix. Okay, let me record the results. So that concludes our test number 9, our final and last test that we held at 4pm and right after the test, we will analyze our results and I will share with you the fastest loading WordPress team for you to get started with. So stay tuned, I will see you at the final test. Okay, time now is 4 p.m. Singapore time and we are finally at our last test. And then right after this, we will assess which is the fastest team. So stick with me to the end because I'm going to share with you my thoughts on which is the best team for beginners because the fastest team may not be suitable for beginners and I will share with you why and why. So let's get to the final test. I think we have to test this again. So right now, the only one that has this server response time is the Neve team, so we will test this again. Okay, so there are no server issues. This is a fair test. Let's record the results. And let's go to Pingdom. Okay, so at this particular time of the day, it seems like the test is unfavorable for all the teams, but anyway, it is still fair. So let's record these results. Okay, that's done. Let's go to GT Metrics. Okay, let's record this final results and then we'll finally analyze everything. So as we can see, Cadence is producing the best result over this 12 hour test. And the second place goes to Generate Press and then followed by the Neve team, then the Bloxy team, and then the Astra team and Ocean WP. Remember the results of the blank install test? So it really shows that you can't tell the full story with just the blank install test. You really gotta put in the elements in a page to see the full story. So next up in Pingdom, in terms of grade, Generate Press has the best results. So the runner up are these two teams, Bloxy and Cadence. So it's really surprising that these two new teams are beating some mature teams. But anyway, this is not the main indicator. The one I would say is more more important is this load time. So as you can see, Generate Press is once again the winner, followed by Cadence, and then the Neve team is not very far behind. So honestly, I would say Generate Press, Cadence, and Neve, either one of these teams are very competitive in terms of speed. So let's go further down to page size. So what we have here is again Generate Press is the most lightweight WordPress team based on this test, and then followed by Neve. And then the third runner up is Cadence. And then when it comes to the request, Generate Press is once again the winner. And Astra, WP, Cadence, and Neve are tied. And finally, when it comes to GT Metrics, Generate Press is once again the winner and is tied between Cadence and Neve. The structure is rather similar, so we won't talk about this. And finally, the fully loaded test on GT Metrics. It is showing Bloxy is the winner, followed by Cadence and Generate Press. So if we assign points to each of the tests, let's say that the best result will achieve 6 points, followed by the runner-up will get 5 points. If they are tied, they will have 5 points as well. And if they are in the third place, they will be given 4 points. And then 3, 2, 
and 1. If we assign all these points to each of the tests, except for this structure, because it just doesn't make sense, and then we tabulate all of them, we will find which is the fastest WordPress team. So let me fast forward this part and we'll come to the final result. So as we can see here, we have a winner and the winner is Generate Press and the runner up is Cadence followed by the Neve team and Bloxy isn't very far away. So I would honestly say if you want the fastest WordPress team, you can go for Generate Press, but it is not really feature rich and it's not really suitable for beginners based on my experience. You gotta understand some CSS and JavaScript codes to apply most of the features and it is a developer's heaven. But either way, if you are a beginner, they have a very good support system to make your website look the way you want it to be. But if you don't want to rely so much on support and you really want a very robust and solid team that has a lot of features and is not lagging in speed, then the next best option I would say is Cadence. Although I really like Neve and Bloxy as well because they are feature rich and they are compatible in speed. So honestly, I'm actually quite surprised by Cadence because it is a new kid on a block and is producing such great results, better than most of the mature teams out there. And I was actually quite surprised by Astra as well because they were once the superstar in 2017. A lot of experts recommended them because they say that it is one of the fastest WordPress team with tons of features. That was true in 2017 but I don't think it is in 2021. I really like Astra, I own them for quite some time already but unfortunately in this objective test it is not showing great results. So if you want to check out either of the teams you can use the links in the description. Whenever there are any latest discounts those links will be updated and thank you so much for sticking around. I really appreciate that. So as promised, here is the video case study where I helped Janine who owns the website stitchingincolors.com to turn her website from getting a 28 rating on Google PHP Insights all the way to a 90 plus rating and all without doing anything fancy. I hope you can benefit from it if you're struggling with a slow website and if you need any help, feel free to leave a comment down below and we'll take it from there. Anyway, do subscribe to the channel for more WordPress and online business content. All the best to you. Take care and stay safe.